Investopedia Stock Simulator tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Investopedia, an incredible trading platform, and how you can use its very own simulator. So this is basically a stock market simulator, which is actually really trusted, and it works incredibly, where you can practice stock trading with virtual money, so no deposit needed, and practice at your own range. You can trade with a wide range of stocks like ETFs and other options. So whether you're investing for the first time or looking to get more familiar, this works both ways. And you can also trade by yourself and compete with tons of others okay so to actually start off with this what you're going to do is you're going to click on get started now once we click on get started this will lead us to the sign up page okay now signing up with investopedia is pretty simple okay and it's a totally free sign up so what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into the sign up bits and trust me this simulator will lead you to a lot of places when it comes to the context of trading now also do know this that when you're using the simulator there's different games that you have to create for the simulation to actually work and once you create those games those simulations will help you do your trading in the back end so it's basically a type of automation that you can set up okay so if you don't know what an automation is automation is basically giving steps to a bot or an ai and that bot will do those steps for you you're going to add a step trigger an event and action and that should help things out so that is what investopedia is mainly like so let me get straight into it now, once we've come over to the actual register page, what you're going to want to do over here is you are going to add an email. Now, in my case, I'm going to be using a temp mail, but you don't necessarily need to do that. You can go with anything you want. Then you're going to add a username. Once we do that, we're going to enter a password and make sure that it's a well off strong password so we don't have any complications. And once we go ahead with this, we're simply going to click on register. All right. Now, once you have successfully registered with this, it's going to tell you that you need to verify your email address to actually, you're going to need to verify your email address to actually verify your account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my email. And as you can see in my inbox, I have this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this link in the new tab. And once we do that, as you can see, Investopedia starts loading in and look at that. It's going to bring us straight to the portfolio center. Okay. Now, once you're entered into the simulator portfolio here you can actually boost things up so our current account value is a hundred thousand buying power is a hundred thousand and the cash is a hundred thousand this is obviously dummy values for the actual simulator all right so this is basically the analytics section where you can see what's going on where you where you can actually use graphs to check your performance history now, to actually use Investopedia, you're going to move over to the trade section. Now, trade section has three different options. So you have stocks, options, and order status. Now, in stocks, what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to look up a symbol or company. So let's say I'm going to go with Apple, all right? So we have Apple Inc. right here. And in Apple Inc., as you can see, it gives us the logo and everything. It sells us the actual market that it's in right now you can see the date you get the upcoming earnings you can see the eps market cap d i v field and p e which is your price earnings okay you can also see a graph chart of how well they have been doing in a day and then you can see the all-time chart so as you can see when it started off from 1980 it didn't do much and then you know it started slowly going up in the 2009th and in you know 2020 three it hit its peak which is pretty incredible right now moving on you can see the current volume which is 36 million per day days high is above to you know 191 dollars days low is around 188 so you know there's not a huge high low ratio which means this is a good company to actually invest in then moving on you can use the action that you want so you can buy sell short or buy to cover so let's say i want to go ahead and buy the quantity that I want to buy, let's say $100. So the max you can obviously buy is 526, but I'm going to go with 100. Now, 526 isn't for every company. Every company has a different max buy order. So you're going to choose the order type, which could be limit, okay, which is basically setting a limit on the actual price. Then you have market, which basically pays you on market price. And then you have stop limit, which is basically a bargain order. 
So I'm going to go with market duration, let's say the day only, and then you can preview your order. And this is what your order is going to be. And you're going to submit this order. And obviously, if this is the estimated price that you're going to want to give up, the estimated total should be around $19,000. All right. So this is how you're going to do trading. Then we're going to move over to the options section. Now in the options section, what we are going to get is again, you can look up a symbol or a company. So I'm going to go with Apple once again. Now, once we go with, with Apple, you can actually see the different strike rates and calls. All right. So these are calls where you can see the last, the last high, you can see the change. So it's a positive 2.93 change. You can see the bid added on it. This was the ask for the bid. You can see the volume of people bidding. Here are the open international biddings. You can see the strikes on it. And then obviously here are the puts where, which are basically when the trade is put away. So you can see the different analytics in the options section. So you can get a wider idea of what you're working with. Then moving on, we also have order status where you can see open trades. So open trades is a list of all your pending transactions. So we have all order, all order times, market open orders and a whole lot more. Now currently I don't have trades, so that's why it sh isn't showing me the volume or the holdings. But if you do, it will show all of them over here. And moving on, there's the research tab. Now in the research tab, again, you can research about a whole company. Okay, you can actually tell through this tab what the analytics are of a certain company. So as you can see here in the most traded stocks, it gives you different types of stocks. So let's say Nvidia. So it says Nvidia is probably the most traded stock on the market right now. And obviously, if we work with this, that leads us with a better general yield. Okay, so the closing value of the market as of today is $1,064.69, which is amazing with the actual current going volume. And you can see the other companies that actually compete as well. So you can actually check which are the most traded and which work the best. All right. Then we have the learn section, which is basically a section where you can actually learn Investopedia simulator platform, including different things like stock management, how to become an actual stock broker and all. And then finally, we have games. Okay. So games is basically you're going to create a game for yourself, which is basically what you're going to do in the trade section, your game is automatically going to be created. And it's going to show you all the analytics over here. So you can actually see a person's account value, and how much it has recently changed, how much it has overall changed, etc. So you can see there's a high, you know, increase and decrease in the values. So just by judging these, you can see how good all of this is. So if you want to create a game, you're going to come to create game and you can, you know, give the game a certain name. So let's say I'm going to call it John, you can give it a description game type. It could be a public game. It could be a private game that you can only, you know, add your friends in starting cash. Let's go with a hundred thousand. You're going to keep all of these advanced rules. You're going to click on create game. Okay. So once we click on create game over here, you're going to click on create game. And as you can see, the game has started now. Now, the most amount of sales and trades you make will obviously gain your rankings. And moving on, you can also use Investopedia Simulator not only for stocks, but for crypto as well. So whatever tradings you do on stock, you can do the same on crypto with the same amount of integrity and same amount of effort. So if you want to trade crypto, simply click on trade and you can get all these cryptocurrencies. So let's say I want to go with Ethereum. All right. So you're going to click on Ethereum and you can see that it's a basic buy and sell cash order. All right. So just like this, you can buy and sell and trade different types of Ethereum as well. Now, unfortunately, there's no feature that lets you set a game on Investopedia Simulator for crypto, but it should come by in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much about it with Investopedia. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me. I hope you all have a great, amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.